And the spotlight is on Justin Herbert as he's gone over 4,000 yards passing now for the year. It's the Chargers and the Rams under the lights on Sunday night. Night beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Los Angeles Rams and their Southern California rivals, the Los Angeles Chargers. Brandon Gordon here with Charles Davis as always. And CD, you look at the Rams in this matchup. Their offense is a unit that's not afraid to take chances out there, but not always for the better. What do you see them trying to do here? I think they'll continue to take those chances, Brandon, but to me, they have to do it in a measured way. And what I mean by that, they can't just come into a game and throw caution to the wind and just say we're going to run a bunch of gadget plays, a lot of reverses, end of rounds, all of those things. They've got to identify the spots where they want those plays to pay off, which means you have to set them up. And Here's the former Utah Ute, Matt Gay, to get this one started. And off we go to wrap up this Sunday of action. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well. Won the ball game, bottom line. May not have been earth-shattering, but it didn't need to be. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now it's Herbert. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Herbert's throw into the hands of Cobb. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. It's Herbert. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Chargers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Extra point good by Hopkins. And it's now a 7 nothing game. the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So now the Rams will get their first opportunity with a football. And they'll be led out by last year's Super Bowl champion QB in his 14th NFL season now out of Georgia. 
Matthew Stafford. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And a hook up here to Allen Robinson. Throwing again on second down. Stafford got a man open. It's Tyler Higby. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It'll be a first down for the Rams there on a pickup of 18. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. From the 50, Stafford. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, the Rams at 4-11 on the year. And they come in losers of two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky. In the Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack, and they're staring up at a third and long. They'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. They snap it to Stafford. And able to find Higby. It's complete. And he is going to have the Rams first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. To throw is Stafford. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Chargers will have solid field position here as they take over at the 35-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They'll start following the interception in great field position at the 45. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Once more, here's Eckler. Nifty move. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. That one good for 13 and a charger first. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Herbert jet sweep as he taps it forward. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. First carry now for Isaiah Spiller. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. From the gun, Herbert on third down. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Eckler now between the tackles. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. On the sideline, did he keep his feet in bounds? They say yes. Great job, both feet in, first down. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Running on first down, Eckler. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler. Touch 
first down, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Here comes Hall. He's going to bring it out. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. they got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way. On Stafford for the third time is intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And the Chargers are going to take it. materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From the 27th, Stafford. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Mike Edwards puts it off, and they will set up shot in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. After the turnover, here's Herbert. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. That'll be caught, it's caught. Big play there just before halftime. 55 yards. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field. But if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks. Like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween, and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him today. Play action. Stanford. Open man finding Jefferson. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick. First. 
So we, well, we're in the latter stages of this season. Everybody's getting antsy, so antsy that we're going to skip the halftime and get ready for the third quarter. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis operating gun getting set for quarter number three here. On the return, here's Hall. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. As the Rams offense comes back out, here is the NFC playoff picture coming into the weekend. Stafford on first down. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. And he's got this to Jefferson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Here's Stafford. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. And taking it across midfield and inside on the move. First and ten. Open man. He's got Jefferson across the Faking at Stafford. Across the middle, and this pass could. Stafford. Touchdown. From four Setting up to throw on first down. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. A beautiful fake. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. It's Eckler again. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Please. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Matthew Stafford and the L.A. Rams returning on offense. Last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six to six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watch the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, the ball never hits the ground there either. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Stafford. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of batting him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Off of play action. Here's Stafford. And now here's another interception. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And a return across midfield into the 46-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Got a man. It's Higby complete. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Here's Stafford. And that'll be incomplete. And it appears we have a charger shaken up on that last play. And not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him. And we'll step aside for a moment. Third quarter action here, this regular season finale. This will be second and ten. Going deep downfield for Ross. This is caught inside the 15. Then he will finally be taken down. But how about that play? It's a big one on the final act of the third quarter. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Touchdown! Tyler Higby from eight yards out. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Over the middle, that's caught by Ross. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Going deep downfield for Ross. And it's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now Stafford. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Van Jefferson was the intended receiver. Third down here. Now right where this set of down started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first and 10, Stafford. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Going deep downfield for Ross. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw is Stamper. He's going to let it fly. He's got a man complete. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. From the red zone now, Stafford. This is caught. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, I kind of got to give him credit. Another incompletion there, yes, but he's still trying to make plays outside the pocket. Yeah, he's been hemmed in for much of the game. How about him getting outside there? And, and this is caught. Well, they get one back, picking up the late touchdown here. 